Alright, we're now continuing my uh, college graduation special for uh, Daniel. We're staying on the Nintendo Wii for this segment. And we're going to be playing Disney's Think Fast. Welcome to Disney's Think Fast. Okay, a single player game. Next step, it's time to enter your name. Now it's time to choose which Disney star will be playing for you. I think we'll play as Mickey. Oh boy! Move left and right on the control pad to move through our selection. The next and step is to select a buzzer sound. Use the control pad to move up and down the list of sounds. And press the A button when you've selected the one you'd like. Let me know what you want to do by using the control pad, and then pressing the A button Squawky. to select. Squawky! Now, in which Disney World would you like to play? Uh, let's go to, uh, the Hawaiian Beach. Well, we're almost, let's get started. All right, let's do it. Time to head to the beach for some Disney trivia. Playing Disney's Think Fast. Disney's Think Fast. Welcome to the world of Lilo and Stitch. We're here for Disney's Think Fast. But first, let's meet our host whose magic got us all here. The unforgettable Genie of the Lamp. And welcome to the tropical islands of Hawaii. Over the years, this island paradise has attracted all sorts of alien life forms, from Stitch to the leader of the Galactic Federation, and even the fucking himself. <laughs> but enough name dropping. Let's see who's here to play. Introducing today's competitor. He's been a prince, a pauper, and even a sorcerer's apprentice. He's everyone's <laughs> favorite pal, Mickey Gosh. Mouse. Aw, thanks, Genie. So now that we've met today's contestant, let's find out what the first round is. And our first round, of course, is Last Chance. Last chance. Alright. In this round, stop the select. Okay, that's enough of that. We know how. Come all on, these let's take a work. chance and see what we get. Our Time first category is. Selected category. Magic, Magic and mystery. And mystery. In Sleeping Beauty, who is put to sleep by a prick on the finger? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right, that's... All right. Who once lost their shadow? No, it's Peter Pan. If you're hemming and hawing and hawing and hemming, just take a guess. Got nothing to lose. In the Emperor's New Groove, Cusco is turned into a llama and a what? Into a llama and a bear? No. Oh, well, <clears throat> it wasn't exactly right. By waving her wand, who gives Cinderella a beautiful ball gown? Abacazoo and Magicazoo and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. The fairy godmother makes Cinderella's dreams come true. Where are we when we have most of our dreams? Well done! Which evil character casts a spell on Princess Aurora? I think it's... Yeah. It wouldn't be Jafar, because Jafar is from Aladdin. And Sleeping Beauty came out well before Aladdin. Press the A button to select a category. Where in the world, Where in the world are these Disney In the characters? Aristocats, who is visiting from England? Good answer. In Pocahontas, which flag does Governor Ratcliffe's ship fly? Hmm. <laughs> Good call! Who 
travels to the city of thieves to become a hero. Aristocats live in France. Which of these is the French flag? Good one. Who lives in the Arabian city of Agrabah? That would be Aladdin. You Which landmark do Peter Pan and the Darling Children fly past? Next one with the A button. Sidekicks. Sidekicks. Which sidekick sometimes has a little angel and devil on his shoulders? Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, no. Wrong. In Atlantis, the Lost Empire, which lady stays by Commander Rourke's side? Lady. Oh, that's just a guess. I've never even yeah. seen Atlantis Lost Empire. In Peter Pan, which animal does Mr. Smee accidentally shave? Uh. Oh, no, it was the bird. <sighs> mayday! Mayday! <laughs> Who is Foxy Loxy's bullying best friend? Master of Magic has a feathery sidekick named Archimedes. Oh no! Ooh, Master of Magic, oh, I could sorry. be female. Yeah. Lady and the Tramp. Tramp and Lady meet a beaver in the zoo. Which of these animals is a beaver? Twenty-six hundred points. Well, yeah, some of those questions were kind of tough. The next round. Anyways, let's see what we have for the next round. 50, 50. 50, 50. Of course, we know this works. This a Two now. answers Rich in this Angel. round. We just have let's to pick the right one. Round. I'm thinking things could go one way or the other. That's why it's called 50-50, Genie. Which is heavier? You knocked it out of the bar! Which is more expensive? Bingo! Which makes a louder sound? Which is older? I think the pyramids are older. Yes! Incroyable. Which can fly higher? Which is more useful to a bank? Which is smaller? Spot on! Last chance to get one right! Which is bigger? I think a baseball is bigger than a golf ball. Yes! A perfect round! Up to 5,000 points. Oh, and our next round is... Starstruck! 
Our special guest will have heard enough. Okay. No feelings hurt. <laughs> He's blue. He has four arms. And he's a hunk of burning love. Let's give a big aloha to that cute and fluffy engine of alien destruction, Stitch. Uh, uh, hi, everybody. Stitch asks you questions, okay? Lots of questions about Stitch. Stitch is home and Stitch is Ohana. That means family. Which spaceship is Jamba's? Careful in this round, because the wrong answer will cost you points. Ooh. <laughs> What's this hit Jumbo with? Mm, surfboard? <laughs> no. Nice. Ooh. What made the islands of Hawaii? Stitch used one to make big explosions. Volcano. Uh, oh no. What color is hover car Jumba give to you now? Oh no, it's four in a row wrong. Who is Grand Councilwoman? Grand Councilwoman. Oh come on. No points for creativity. What is the best way to get to another island in Hawaii? Please let both be right. <laughs> Thank you! Five in a row wrong, Larry. When Stitch played music at the beach, what did Lilo dance on? <laughs> Surfboard again? No, still wrong. Ah! Uh, Stitch get lollipop to baby. What Stitch get? Ah! Not the right answer. Stitch better go see Lilo now. Everybody have a pretty good day. Bye bye. That was a tough round. I only got one question right. The in next that round is. Let's see if we do better an odd one out. Watch carefully. Right, let's keep that short. Maybe a little off the top, but leave the sides long. Well, this round ought to keep you uh, amused. <laughs> right, I know I'll do better with this round. Show me the music! A chance for me to make up for all those wrong answers in the last round. Nice. Uh, those questions I said in that last round were Ready, tough. Steady, spin! Well done! Ran out of time on that. Let's one. get things spinning. Right as the time runs out. Ding ding! Moving on to the next round! Observation. Observation. 
Watch carefully as we... Nothing more to learn here. Move along. Move along. Actually, we're, um, out of popcorn. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Had a little snack attack. Genie, you need to use your manners. Okay, this one's Cinderella. How many pieces of corn does Gus try to pick up? I'm pretty sure I saw nine pieces in there. <laughs> yep. Somebody sure is an eager beaver. What color is Gus's shirt? <laughs> oh, nice answering, Tex. Who watches as Lucifer the cat stalks Gus? I guess you didn't waste any time reading that one. What color is Gus's hat? Uh, nope. Oh. What color is Jacques' jacket? Uh, <laughs> Are you looking at the answers? No. Uh, huh? Almost at a perfect. Next Still clip. for the Cinderella oh. observation. Oh, Fantasia. I think this one's the Sorcerer's Apprentice scene. The question portion of our round will commence now. What does Mickey take from the wall? Incorrect. <laughs> oh. What is Mickey wearing on his head? <laughs> Can you believe the speed on that answer? What is Mickey trying to stop? <laughs> How many times does Mickey use the hatchet? I was off by one. What color is the hat Mickey's wearing? <laughs> Let's circle around to the next round. going to slowly sketch a picture of a Disney... All right, let's make some magic. So, detective, the game is a foot. Or a hand, or something like that. He is seen in Treasure Planet. He doesn't get thrown into a black hole. He doesn't fall in love with Captain Amelia. Good time. <laughs> it's fun to play with. Fun to play with. Wait a minute, are you looking at the answers? Huh? Huh? No, Genie. He is seen in Robin Hood. He has never rightfully worn a crown. He works for Prince John. He is seen in The Little Mermaid. He doesn't have wings. Doesn't have wings, okay. I was about to say the bird, but then it said he doesn't have wings, so... Oh, halfway done! Quick breather. <laughs> ah, and we're back. It is found outside. 
It does not have petals. It contains water. Fine, I'll say it because no one else will. Pick up the pace! This character meets an emperor. No! Oh! It has four legs. Its babies are not called cubs. It might live on a farm. Point, point. Did everything just slow down? He knows Duchess. Was an incredibly fast answer. The end is nigh because it's time for the final round. Under pressure. This round is again hurt enough. Okay, no feelings hurt. Remember, every second counts, but no pressure, no pressure at all. Okay, let's see how much time you've got. Ooh, you've got a nice amount of time there. Keep your wits about you and you could get a great score. Okay. In Pocahontas, which character is named Gee. Percy? Uh -huh. Ah, no, it was the dog. Ah. Winnie the Pooh's friend Rabbit grows vegetables. Gee. Which of these is it? A... <laughs> In Fantasia, which creatures play Gee. with the fawns? <laughs> In the Rescuers, who is chased by hungry Gee. bats? Hmm. No. What does Dumbo blast at the mean elephants? Gee. <laughs> In Hercules, which of these characters is the Gee. king of the gods? I still have all of my passes. Dr. Dawson is a military surgeon, Gee. a type of doctor. Which of these would not be used by a doctor at work? <laughs> Which of Winnie the Pooh's friends always sounds Gee. a bit gloomy? <laughs> and for no Emperor Cusco is turned into a llama. Gee. Some wool comes from llamas, but which animal produces Angora wool? Oh, oh. funny rabbit. In the Aristocats, who imagines they hear the Gee. cats at the front door? No. And that's all the time on the clock! So I finished with 20,700 right, points. Wrong. Some oh, good. Gee. Some bad. I can dig it. And that's the end of our little extravaganza. Hope you all had as much fun as I did. For now, it's goodbye from our contestant. Goodbye from me. And a big old... So long! From me. Take care, folks. Remember to drive safe and come back and see us real soon. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. You'll need a little magic, genie style, to get home. And that concludes Disney's Think Fast for Daniel's College Graduation Special. We will have the next segment coming up in just a moment, so don't go anywhere.